What's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a rig changer. Very simple video, but definitely something extremely useful. Uh, it actually goes in, it actually coincides with my character selector video I made a few weeks, maybe like a month. I think it's only been a few weeks, but I dropped it a little bit, a little while ago. But let's get straight into it. Okay, so of course, first things first, you're going to need a rig, obviously. So head on over to Avatar. We could do a rig builder. And then, um,. I'm gonna go with the Rithro or however you pronounce that avatar. I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna put this in server storage. I'm gonna insert a server script into server script service. So say you wanted to have it so where whenever a player joins the game, it automatically changes changes their rig to match this rig, right? So you could call the script rig changer script, right? Then delete print hello world. And make a variable for the rig local rig is equal to game dot server storage wait for child rig right then make a function for when a player joins game dot players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put plr which is short for the player who joined then you're going to do, you're gonna of course wait for the character so player dot character added colon connect function in parentheses put character and then you're going to want to Create, or not sorry, not create. You're gonna to want to apply the description to the humanoid, the rig's description to the to the characters or player's character that just joined. If that makes sense. So first things first, of course, you gotta retrieve the description. So local HD, which will just be short for a humanoid description, is equal to rig that humanoid get apply description, and then you want to do character wait for child humanoid. The new character dot humanoid apply this will not autofill by the way apply description so make sure you spell everything right apply description hd there you go go ahead and click play it should work if it doesn't may need to look at the way for childs but i think it should be good data model yeah okay data model was not available the humanoid apply description mm -mm. Humanoid apply description it apply description that model was not available. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Character wait for child humanoid. Mm, okay. I'm gonna feel like I'll wait. Because if anything, I was already thinking it might be like this. If anything, you might just need a wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you can just have a wait. And then obviously my sponsorship will just kind of be stuck there since it just changed models. But yeah, as you guys can see, it changed my uh, rig. You guys can play around with the wait time. Maybe make it like one second, zero point one seconds, whatever. And then, yeah, and then it changes your rig to whatever you want it to be. And it matches exactly as is stuff. I honestly have never used this, <laughs> never used this type of avatar before. But anyway, hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Hope this video was helpful. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.